Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another week of Team of the Season brings us Bundesliga Tots, and it is here today in FIFA 23. What I want to do in today's video is get us ready for a big time promo Friday. After a big week of Prem, we are now looking forward to Bundesliga Tots with some pretty big names leaked. And of course, those stats on the loading screen now showing that, kind of like we hope, some of these Bundesliga Tots cards might be really juiced. So I want to talk about that, how the market might move today, what kind of content we could see. And of course, yesterday, all of the craziness with the level 20, 84 times 25, and or whatever you chose, the one of three 90 plus e fix Tots. That whole situation yesterday with objectives in general is making this game kind of go crazy and it, it did a lot of things that we did not expect, especially with prices on the market. So we're going to talk about all of that today and more. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's talk about yesterday really quickly to start this video off. First of all, we had two SBCs yesterday. The first one being marquee matchups, which was expected. Nothing crazy there. Of course, XP is involved because it ties to the objectives here in the objective section. And EA dropped basically what we would call a double XP weekend. Kind of like if you played Call of Duty back in the day, double XP weekend was a fun time to get on and level up, right? Same thing here. Every single XP boost in here is a double right instead of 1250 or 2000 it's now 2500 and 4000 xp for each of these objectives as you can see i went through and i grinded out some stuff yesterday on stream so that i could get all the way to level 20 and that was the biggest thing yesterday on this game is you could get the xp to get to level 20 and claim either desai the 84 times 25 or most importantly and all of a sudden very popular the one of three 90 plus e figs tots or tots moments player pick and this is what really did the game in yesterday in so many areas we did not expect this to happen because we didn't expect the double xp boost but as you can see inside if you're right it's really easy to get xp and i'm sure a lot of you guys are leveling up super super fast you can do all of the objectives right now except for the tot swap five and the bundesliga premium upgrade if you play enough games to get the win eight the play 15 a lot of people are going into friendlies with each other and quitting out to kind of boost if you will that's what i did just to get the objective done really fast the foot moments is working it says something about the bundesliga moments here but that's just releasing today it's not actually requiring you to play in that Bundesliga mode so that's why a lot of people are talking about this player pick man and this player pick was one of the two things that absolutely went crazy on this game yesterday since there are so few tots cards that are available from it right we've only got tots cards from the community and the Premier League team of the season that are available in that player pick you have got a ton of really good cards that are popping out of that player pick with really really high chances so if you are questioning that player pick it I think is a really really good value one to do because a lot of the popular cards we are seeing from that are Alexis Sanchez we're seeing Rodrigo we're seeing a lot of um you know Hyunmin Sun Tots Moments card. I actually got insanely lucky in doing mine, and I packed Varan Tots Moments yesterday out of that player pick. It was a very big W from that. I mean, there is a little bit of risk, right? Because you're turning in a one of three player pick where you could get 25, 84 plus rated players. That's a lot of SBC crafting that could take place there as well. So I got very lucky. A lot of people are packing Sun, Rodrigo, and Alexis Sanchez. And that's even impacting the market in its own right as a lot of those cards are going down in price. And everybody is going and doing that player pick. If you want to check out a video, we did do a bunch of those yesterday. So I'll post that video link right up here. We opened a bunch of those. If you kind of want to see what that's about and make sure, kind of, just, I guess, guess to see if it's worth it for you, you can go check it out there. But I will say this, if you're going to open that player pick, be very careful because if you wait to open it until after content today on Friday, the wait is going to be completely different because Bundesliga cards will be available in that player pick and it may not make it as OP as it has been. So that's something to kind of watch out for today. But that was something that really went crazy on the game yesterday. And then also yesterday, we had an absolutely incredible value, Laporte SBC, 221,000 coins for this SBC is insane value for the links that he provides, for the stats that he has. He's pretty comparable to Saliba, maybe not quite on the level of Saliba's card, but considering Saliba was 350k yesterday and this card is 224,000 coins, a very easy craft, Manchester City links. Basically right now in this game, everybody's running Prem teams too because of the Premier League team of the season being very cheap, good value, and what we've all been kind of grinding and working towards 
cards this last week. He fits right into so many people's teams. Center back prices on this game are down horrendous. And I would be very careful buying center backs from any league right now or any part of the market because this card is taking all of the hype up right now in this game. It's very similar to what we saw about a month ago when the Benucci SBC and the Carlos Alberto SBC dropped in this game. When center back SBCs drop a good value, you can just tell what it does to the market. It absolutely makes the market go crazy. So be very careful buying center backs. Uh, but this was much cheaper than expected. It was a really good card. And that, of course, is why you see the market going down as much as it is, especially on those, those guys like Ruben Diaz, Saliba, and Ake. Will center back prices rebound? I don't think they're going to rebound that well. Um, I'd be very careful buying any center back card today on this game because Laporte is still the brand new card that is the most hyped. And also the new cards that are coming out today in Bundesliga Tots, they might come onto the market today with cheaper prices because the hype is all around this Laporte SBC. So we'll talk about the market a lot more later in the video, but that's kind of a roundup for the content that happened yesterday on this game. Let's talk about today, right? Bundesliga team of the season is dropping on this game today, and it's a different Friday, right? The first two weeks of team of the season are always really exciting because you've got community and you've got Prem, and there's a lot of saved up packs for it. Now, today begins the next couple of weeks of team of the season where, yes, there is hype for these major leagues and the big boost juiced cards that are going to come out, but it's not quite the same as the first two weeks, and that's where we're relying on EA to juice these cards up a little bit. And... With the loading screen that was updated yesterday, same three players that were on there from Wednesday, but EA showed us the stats and some of the kind of, I guess you could say, nationalities and positions of these guys, right? We knew that was Alfonso Davies guessing by the left back, 99 pace and 90 passing with five-star skill moves. That's going to be a cracked card. This is, of course, Sadio Mane with 96 pace and 90 shooting, which is a solid upgrade over his uh, flashback SBC, by the way. And then Nkunku with 97 pace and 97 dribbling. Yes, once again, Nkunku is not an SBC. He is going to be a card that is in packs. This was an incorrect original leak. But I want to look through the leaked cards because there are a lot more official leaks as we are heading into today on Friday. And Nkunku going to be a card that is in packs today. We think Royce is going to be an SBC. That's the only SBC leak that we have. And that could be a really big part of today's content because EA is going to have to release content today that people actually want to take part with because Prem Tots was such a really good week and we just came off of all this grinding for the objectives like Matoma, these guaranteed Tots packs where we have a lot of brand new Tots cards that we want to try out and maybe use in Weekend League. How is EA going to get us to change our teams today? I think an SBC would be the first part where they could do that. I think Royce might be our SBC player today and if it's good value with good ratings and maybe a five-star skill move boost on that card, you might see some people changing over with some German and some Dortmund links. So We'll watch those for sure on the market today. But moving through some more leaks, of course, we have Goretzka moments. We've talked about that. Sadio Mane from the loading screen. We've talked about that. Um, and then here are some newer ones. Davies from the loading screen. Not surprising there. Of course, he's going to have 90 passing and 99 pace as shown there. And then some Bayern cards. Leroy Sané is getting into team of the season. I mean, again, these are voted on, guys, but based on the Bundesliga vote that was put out to the community. So um, this is not necessarily who deserves it. It's more voting based. But Sané is getting a card today. We are getting a Musiala card as expected and as leaked before. And we are also getting Delicious. So, a lot of Bayern links today, a lot of Dortmund links today. That's expected. There's a lot of cards from those two teams, so definitely watch that part of the market today. But those are nice cards. We're really excited for those. Um, I think they're going to do a really good boost on Musiala and Delict. I think Delict might be like the marquee center back in this team of season squad, which is probably deserved. And also, that's going to be a really, really overpowered card in this game. But again, like we said, maybe pretty cheap because of how the center back market is right now on this game. Now, moving up and forward, we've got another center back with Schlotterbeck. I think he's going to be pretty cheap. Last year, his card was pretty cheap as well, but that could be a very, very nice card there. We've got Bellingham, right? We don't know. These are all predicted stats. Again, this is one of the most um, looked for cards today. Just people so curious about, are they going to upgrade him over the team of the year? Is it going to stay the same rating as the team of the year or maybe be below? We'll have to see on the Jude Bellingham today. But again, these are all predicted stats. These are not 
not final. So we'll probably get some confirmed stats later on today. Maybe some leaks right before content like we had last week. Julian Brandt is going to be a card in this team as well. This one to me is probably going to be one of the cheaper cards. I would imagine the cheapest player or one of the cheapest players in the teams. And then Koble is going to be a card that we're all going to be packing just like Ramsdale this last week. But he's going to have some nice Dortmund links that will be very sought after as well as a lot of Dortmund cards in this team. Now, some other ones that are very exciting. Full Krug, very deserved. Uh, definitely think this guy deserved a team of the season. Probably one of the cheaper cards in this team as well. Hopefully make him pretty fun to try out and pretty usable. Frimpong with the 99 pace. A lot of people are going to be looking after this card today because of the link to Diaby, right? And a lot of us did the Diaby SBC. Um, and that's going to be a card that a lot of people will be using in their starting 11 in this next week, potentially during Bundesliga team of the season. But oh wait, guess what? He is getting a card as well. Diaby is leaked to be in team of the season. He's going to get an even further boosted card above his SBC card that's been out now for a while for Road to the Final. But I'm really curious to see if this is going to be sort of the situation like we had with the Alexis Sanchez card, where he had a live card, um, of course, but they didn't make the team of the season like anything super spectacular. They just did a couple of upgrades. They didn't upgrade a weak foot or a skill move. I'd be very curious to see if they upgrade a weak foot or skill move on Diaby, because if they do, that would almost make it seem like the uh, Road to the Final card would not have as much like hype, because that one's not upgraded yet, and of course, they're still trying to progress for the upgrades, right? So I think they might keep this Diaby the same and not upgrade his weak footer skills. That's just my take, but we'll have to see. But that's a hype card nonetheless. And I'm really excited. I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. For Colo Mani, I hope they give him a really big boost today. He needs a big boost in some of those, especially like uh, stats like the reactions and the composure from his um, special cards this year. But that could be a really nice linkable card with the France and the Bundesliga links. And he could be pretty meta as well. So hopefully they give him a really big juice there. Those are all of the leaks that we have right now for Bundesliga. And we do have a third moments player, right? We've got Goretz. We have got Mane and we've got Lacroix, another center back and a French center back, a kind of FIFA legend from last year in FIFA. He is getting a Tots Moments card as well. It's giving me kind of like the Varane vibes. And I'm so curious to see how expensive he is on the game today compared to like Schlotterbeck and compared to Delict. He might be more expensive than all those guys just because of the links. And, of course, the hype that he has as a player in FIFA. Now, I will say once again, these stats are predicted and none of these stats are final just yet. So watch out for that. But, again, we look at all those players. It looks like it could be a pretty fun squad of players today. We don't know who the objective is going to be as of right now. I do not believe there's a specific objective leak. But Royce is that SBC that we might be seeing today. Keep an eye on your Dortmund players. I've also seen some leaks for, like, Rafael Guerrero. That could be another card that's in the team. That might not be a full list of all the players that are going to be in the team today. There could be a few other ones, of course, as well. So just watch out for that team that's going to be dropped today in this game. Now, price-wise, for these team of the seasons, the last two weeks, we've seen team of the season prices start very low and then go up a lot in a couple hours after the content drop. I don't think that's going to be the case today. I think these cards are going to start out more expensive and then drop lower as we head throughout the hours into tonight uh, on Friday into Friday night, maybe into Saturday morning as well, just because there's not as many saved up packs, right? And that's the biggest thing about the market today is there's not as many people going to go out on the market today and want to buy these TOTS cards like there was last week with Premier League Tots specifically, and two weeks ago with Community Team of the Season. There's going to be hype today for sure, but it's not going to be quite the same because the first two weeks are always the most hype of Team of the Season. So watch out for these cards in the first couple of hours because there still could be some fluctuations with cards that maybe start a little bit too cheap. And there are some saved up packs today, but it's more like maybe me and you guys have the same situation where I've got a couple Bundesliga specific packs that I'm going to be saving for today, but I'm not really saving like any of my you know rewards from the last week that are tradable packs or packs from multiple weeks beforehand of team of the season that i've been saving for tots there's a lot less of that today than there have been for the past two weeks so i don't think they're going to start cheap i think they'll start more expensive and then kind of come down in price but it could make them more rare today there'll still be lightning rounds there will still be packs in the store and there's some pack code we have to look at in a second but i think that's going to make the cards a little bit more rare today. Now, one set of packs that we're all going to get, if you've been keeping up with the daily login, today is the day, guys. Today is day 22. We are all going to be getting an 85 times 5 pack, 
and also a TOTS player pack um, from inside of here, which I believe this TOTS player pack, I think it might contain any team in the season player. So including like EFL, Eredivisie, Premier League Community, and Bundesliga. So I mean, there's no telling what this pack could be. Don't expect anything massive, but a 585 pack could bring some untradeable Bundesliga Tots cards into our clubs today. That could be a good chance to pack one. And then again, that could be maybe where EA try to get us hyped about trying a Bundesliga Tots player or two. So that'll be fun today to be opening up. And I've got a couple Bundesliga specific packs, but really there's not many packs we can save for today, right? All the upgrades that we have are Premier League specific at the moment. So that really is not a thing like we could do last week. We, could, we can't really save the 81 plus player picks because there aren't any in this game at the moment. So that's kind of what's all coming out there. I want to talk about this pack code really quickly as we're kind of on the topic of packs. There are some big packs that have been added to the code. First of all, Bundesliga specific, we've got all the store packs, right? We got like the foundations pack. We've got the essentials pack, um, an EA play pack with a bunch of loans. They've got the rewards packs that were added, right? The Bundesliga tots, the Bundesliga slash EFL. That is what is in rewards this weekend, guys. If you're playing weekend league, you are playing for Bundesliga and EFL tots cards in reds and also the community tots player pack if you guys are awaiting compensation which I know a lot of you are this is the pack that ea is going to be giving out compensation through so that might be happening today might be happening sometime during the weekend so uh watch out for that but a lot of rewards packs that are inside of here some store packs like the foundations as we mentioned one that i'm really interested about two of them actually first one is 83 plus bundesliga player pick it's a one of three player pick but it's tradable and they went out of their way to signify that with tradable in brackets there with all players guaranteed to be from the bundesliga and 83 or higher see pack probabilities for full details with a description like that that's a pack that's going to be in the store but a player pick pack that is going to be tradable in the store i'm so curious to see how ea value that in terms of fifa points and in terms of coins unless that description is going to be updated Watch out for that today because that could be very interesting. Not that it would impact the market a ton unless it's super juiced for tots. Um, but that's going to be really curious to see that there. And then, of course, this 90 plus pack. We're going to be looking at this into the weekend. This most likely is our next icon upgrade SBC 90 plus prime team of the year foot birthday or trophy titans. It's actually it sounds cool, but it's not that amazing of an SBC. It's not that different. From the 90 plus that we've had the past couple of weeks it just adds in the trophy titans but you still have all those prime icons that were the most popular to pack from that sbc and uh yeah we're gonna be talking about that later in this weekend for sure so watch out for the store packs today there's still gonna be lots of lightning rounds and a lot of supply there but again just maybe not as much hype as there was for the premier league now let's talk about the market guys because with that being said is there going to be a bump up in prices today or is this market just going to stay mudded kind of like it was yesterday now really the content yesterday that made the market not really rise as much as i thought it was going to was number one the laporte sbc being such a great card and super duper cracked and number two i really believe guys that that efix player pick is hurting so much of the market right now because People are going and doing that right away. It's all about grinding that and getting that done. And there's not as much demand for like buying teams, weekend league teams and stuff like that. And the cards that are moving up the most on the market right now, take a look at team of the year Courtois and all of your Real Madrid links with Rodrigo being one of the most popularly packed cards from that 90 plus efix player pick that's kind of why everybody's doing it right now right so you have the chance to pack a card like him alexis sanchez hyunmin sun real madrid links on this game are absolutely flying he is 390,000 coins remember he was down at 300k flat after we had the um ali sun sbc look at this yesterday at content he was 315k he went right to 350 and now he's 390,000 coins all because of that player pick, right? You might wonder why is Rodrigo, Varan, Alexis Sanchez, and Son at the top of the foot been most popular? It's because those are the guys that are getting packed the most out of that player pick, and everybody's doing it because they know that it's juiced, seemingly almost glitched. Although I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just there's so few players that are in the pool to choose from. Um, and you know, the same players kind of pop up over and over. But since that pool is so small, those are the players that are popping up over and over and over. 
and people are buying players to link up with these guys in their teams. That's where the market's doing the best right now. The market is not doing very good in terms of the Prem Tots, right? I still am invested in some of these cards. I still have the Salah, but he's down because if think about it, if you had Salah, but you're going and doing the player pick for Rodrigo, you would rather use the Rodrigo that you just packed instead of a 2.7 million coin Salah card, right? That's why he's down. And you've got a lot of the rest of the market down besides center backs, just because honestly, guys, I think everybody is going and focusing on that. And they're trying to link up guys that they maybe have packed from this player pick. So that's why the market is really in kind of shambles right now. I was expecting a quieter content day yesterday. And I do still believe uh, that there is some price rises that are going to happen. I still have my Salah, like I mentioned. I still have my Bukayo Sakas. I sold one for a lazy sale yesterday at 660,000 coins. Saka is still, that was an undercut right there. He's right around 615, 620,000 coins. So he's not down that bad. But yesterday after content, all of these Premier League Tots cards definitely dropped in value, but they just didn't rebound, right? And I was expecting a little bit of a drop, but I was also expecting a quieter day of content yesterday and a rebound on prices, but that didn't happen because of all the craziness with the player pick and with the Laporte SBC being such great value. So these prices are still kind of down. Now, am I going to sell all my cards today? I'm definitely going to hope for a market rise after content because I still think there's a lot of hype for these Premier League Tots cards because People want to try these out. They're still brand new to them. They want to play Weekend League with them. They want to try them out. And Weekend League starting today, there's going to be a lot of people buying these cards, in my opinion, still. So not all of them are going to go up today. But I don't see a big crash happening on this game like we saw last week when these cards dropped. Because, I mean, these cards are in the game now. People opened their packs. They packed all these guys. And now they want to use them this weekend. I think their prices on most cards will still do okay throughout this weekend. And you'll still see some cards go back up in price. So I still believe in this market in that aspect a little bit. And let's be honest, the fact that some of these cards are still um, like so cheap, like Bruno Guimaraes, I mean, he's, he's stayed pretty stable right around the, the 190, 200,000 coin range, which I know some of you guys invested in him there. Like this is a card that I still think can go up this weekend just because of how great value that he is. So I wouldn't say all hope is lost on all these investments. I mean, the market is still very, very low. Again, like I said, I have a lot of these investments. There's a lot more, I think, potential for a rise here than there is for a fall in price. Now, there could be prices that do fall today for sure, but overall with weekend league demand, people wanting to buy cards for teams and especially Premier League being the hype that is kind of still in this game today, I expect cards to do card prices to do okay. I also think that based on today's SBC content, if we do get Royce, Royce is a big time FIFA name. There could be some Dortmund links like Jude Bellingham's older special cards. I have one of them from earlier on in the week. I'm hoping that he can rise up today if the SBC is really, really good for Royce. Other Dortmund links could be rising today. And other links other than that, like just Bundesliga links in general. You saw I have some Oop Mikados. I have some uh, Fantasy Foot Ricken, right? Some of the lower tier cards from the Bundesliga. People might be spending some coins on here in the next couple of days, especially if we do get a Bundesliga Cup. I think that's the key for the low tier cards once again is we need that cup mode so that people have to go buy Bundesliga cards and use those in their team. So that, we're going to be closely watching out for that today because Bundesliga cards should be in a little bit more demand today as well. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about in today's video is a SBC that might be dropping before content today, and that is a player of the month, if I can find it. Player of the month, Erling Holland. Yeah, there it is. Player of the month, Erling Holland. He is leaked as the player of the month winner. This SBC should be dropping early today, and it should be dropping on this game, and it will be live. I think there might be another player of the month today as well. Sometimes they drop two player of the months on Fridays. Uh, sometimes it's just Premier League, but watch out for an Erling Holland POTM, and that will be even more hype for Manchester City players and Premier League players in squads on the game today. Just be very careful with like Holland's man of the match card, Holland's ones to watch because uh, those cards could take a bit of a hit in value if there is a Erling Holland SBC. Of course, again, even with the SBC we had yesterday, a lot of people might go do a Holland um, player of the month because it is just fitting right into their teams right now at this time with Premier League kind of being the hype. So the market today is going to be a very iffy place. We're going to be covering it all on stream, but it's going to be a fun day at Bundesliga team this season. Hope they juice these cards up with the, the five-star skill moves and weak foots being consistent among a lot of these cards. 
and uh, we're going to maybe try to see if we can pack a last minute Premier League Tots card from a couple of these upgrade packs before they go out of packs early today. So if you want to drop by the stream today, link is down below in the description, but it's going to be a fun day of content on FIFA today. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the count and catch you guys there. Peace out.